Luke, Tom, and Nate here with the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, and we're going to show you how to put together this awesome survival axe. All right, me and the boys, we're out here in the woods and cold, and we're going to demonstrate this awesome survival axe setup. And if you uh, are familiar with axes, you may recognize this as a Fiskar axe. This is a great off-the-shelf axe, not too expensive. It's got a composite handle, um, and the great thing about these handles is they're super light, they never break, and the axe head will never come off. I've owned one of these for about 25 years, Thing is just taking all the abuse I can dish out, does great. And they're light too. What I'm gonna do is show you how to take one of these Fiskar axes and turn them into an awesome survival kit. All right, you guys may be thinking, sure, this is a nice axe, but why is it a survival axe? So let me show you the secret. The key is that the handle is hollow. So, boom, boom. Let me show you what we got. Tommy's demonstrating one of the first items in the kit. Got a signal whistle, okay? <laughs> like this. Yeah. The nice thing about these whistles is that if you're in a survival situation, screaming will just tire you out and ruin your voice. You need to, to signal for help. This whistle's super loud and it won't ruin your voice doing it, okay? You can just sit there and you can just go and blow on this thing all night long and it won't tire you out. The next thing we got is a survival blanket in here. You guys, you guys cold? Yes. All right, let's bust this out here. It's called a space blanket. Now these space blankets are designed to reflect your body heat up, but they serve a lot of functions. It's a tarp. It's a very, very lightweight tarp. Right now, it's serving as an awesome windbreak. Doesn't it nice not have that cold wind on you anymore? If it's raining, this can keep the rain off you and you can wrap up in it. Also, if you run out of food, you can make tinfoil dinners out of the children. The next item in here is a gallon sized Ziploc bag with a bunch of Aqua tabs in it. This is enough to treat two gallons of water. This stuff kills bacteria and viruses and doesn't have the funky taste of iodine. So you can fill the bag up with the water. This is a one gallon bag, so you put five tablets in there, let it sit for 30 minutes, and then you've got a gallon of drinking water. Watch that movie! Hey, stop moving! Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> All right, here's another item in my survival kit. The 200 loom pen light. So you can see here, you got a very powerful LED pen light that runs off of two AAA batteries. So you can see I've wrapped the pen light in some 20 pound spider wire braid and three eagle claw bait hooks that are pre-snelled up. So I've got fishing line, some fishing hooks, and also in the axe handle are some lead split shot. So that's a nice little fishing kit, takes up almost no space and weight, so it's a real easy uh, freebie item to throw in there. Also, it's important in survival situations like this to have a lot of videos downloaded onto your phone so the kids don't kill each other. Here you guys go, watch Captain Underpants. All right guys, let me show you the next items. Flint and steel for making fire. And I've got a little Ziploc bag with some cotton balls soaked in Vaseline as a fire starter. Great for making a fire in a hurry. Uh, like now when it's really cold, maybe you've fallen in the water and you need to get warm in a hurry. Works really great. Another thing you'll notice about this axe, I've got it wrapped in paracord. This is 550 paracord, about a little under 30 feet of it. 
and it's wrapped around the handle in a quick deploy method using a chain sinnet knot. Now when I say quick deploy, what I mean is that you can take it off very quickly. All you have to do is undo this bottom knot and then the whole thing unravels. Let me show you. All you gotta do is just undo this and then you just pull this out There you go. So there you go, about 27 feet of paracord. If you did the entire length of the handle, you could probably get somewhere between 50 to 60 feet. And of course, paracord is awesome. You can take that space blanket and the paracord and build a primitive shelter. Something to keep the rain off you, to help reflect the heat of your campfire on you while you sleep. A lot of things you can do with paracord. The sheath on this axe is really snazzy. It's plastic, it's got this handle on there, very durable, don't need to worry about getting wet. You go and just turn this thing like so and comes right out but you need a sheath because this thing is very sharp i love these fisker axes in part because they're so light this uh, axe right here is a chopping axe not a hatchet but it weighs about the same as a wood handled hatchet but they're razor sharp and they work very well A serious axe. Hey look, I can hear a plane. He, oh, he didn't hear my whistle. Space blanket also works great for people to be able to see you. If they see us, we're gonna be rescued. All right guys, let me show you a little bit more details about this axe and what goes on inside it and how to pack it up. All right, you can see down the handle here. There's that yellow piece of string that I use to pull everything out. And I've just taped it with a little bit of painter's tape to the inside of the handle. It's not necessary, but it just makes it look nice. You can't see the string flapping out of the handle. All right, just reach in here, pop off the tape, grab this piece of string, start pulling. So when you're packing this ax handle, the first thing is make sure your string is really strong. I'm using 200 pound test line braid because if the string breaks, all your stuff is stuck down in the handle and good luck getting it out. So that's important. Secondly, what you wanna do is you wanna attach the string to whatever goes on the very bottom and you want what's on the bottom to be something tough. Once again, if you pull it and you break the item off, then you're, everything's stuck in the handle. So I atta attached it to both the whistle and to the uh, flint and steel. To get the gallon size Ziploc bag to fit, you've got to roll it up bottom to top. And then I've got in here 10 of these uh, aqua tabs and you've got to put those in this way. Getting this base blanket to, to fit, you really have to compress it tight and then use these little twisty ties from a sandwich bag to keep it from getting all scawumpus on you. To get it to all fit in the handle, you're gonna need a ramrod of some type. I got this little piece of wood dowel. To load up the ax, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is put it on the ground like this and step through the handle and lock it in place. The first thing you do is wrap the bag with the cotton balls around the flint and you're gonna take the steel and the whistle and the steel and the whistle go down first. They should just drop down in there. And then put the steel in, and it's a little bit snugger, so use the ramrod. Put it all the way down, squish it down there nice and tight. Then put the flashlight in and put it button side down so that if you accidentally turn it on, you can see the lights on. That should just drop in. Split shot goes in, and then just look. Make sure the split shot's not on top of the, uh, the lens. Take these two together and use the ramrod. And the bag and the space blanket are about an inch, half an inch from the end of the handle. So you can see them right there. 
put the string in there and just use a little bit of painter's tape. And there you go, you're off to the races. All right, next let me show you how to wrap the axe handle and paracord. The paracord wrap is very ergonomic. It feels great in the hand and it doesn't slide around a ton. If you do it really tight, it's on there very secure. It's super easy to do. It's just a chain sinnet knot. Let me show you how to do it. To start the wrap, place the flint in the hole in the bottom of the handle and take the working end and wrap it around the flint. Then pin it with your hands and take the working end, wrap it around the back of the axe, make a bite, and then form a bite on the other side with the working end and put the second bite through the first bite. And once you've done that, tighten it up by pulling the top of the bite. Then repeat the process, wrapping the working end behind the axe, forming a second bite, and placing the second bite through the first bite and tightening it up. This is the chain sinnet knot, simply taking one loop and placing it through another loop in a series. And when it's done right, it makes this awesome pattern all the way down the handle. And you're just feeding one loop through a second loop and then forming a new loop and putting it through the second loop and just doing it over and over and over again. And you do this until you get to the very end. Then you take the line and you don't form a loop. You simply feed the tag in through a loop, tighten it up, and then feed it through the loop at the very bottom of the handle. Once that's tight, you take a pair of pliers and grab the tag end at the top of your wrap, pull it tight, and that'll tuck the knot into the wrap and tighten the whole thing up. I like to put a little loop on the end of my tag end and it looks gorgeous. It's a really simple knot once you get the hang of it. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video about my survival kit. If you'd like to make this survival kit at home, I'm gonna put a link in the description to all the different items and products I put into my kit. Uh, so you can make it at home. At any rate, we hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more great videos from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every week. And don't forget to hit that bell button so you'll get notified when we put out another great video. Let's go home, guys. Let's go get some hot chocolate.